Hi there, I'm Sayavathan Chejala and today I'm going to talk about Quicksort. Quicksort is an efficient sorting algorithm. It's based on the simple concept of divide and conquer algorithm, which is also the concept used in the merge sort. Well, the difference between the merge sort and the Quicksort is in the Quicksort, the most important or the significant work is done while dividing the arrays into the sub arrays. For the quick sort, the combining step is very insignificant. Moreover, for the quick sort has the worst case running time of O n cap 2 on an input array of n numbers, and a worst case happens when the array is sorted in the descending order. Despite all the worst case running time, quick sort is often the best practical choice for sorting, having its average expected running time O and log n and it has an advantage over sorting in place. Moreover, quick sort is also called partition exchange sort because you do the partition and then you shift the arrays and the pointers. Well, this algorithm divides the given array of numbers into three main parts, naming the first as elements less than the pivot element, pivot element and the last being the elements greater than the pivot element. Coming to the pivot element, it can be chosen from the given numbers in many different ways. As four have been stated now, choosing the first element, choosing the last element, and choosing any random element. And finally, choosing the median. Well, how does Quicksort work? All you have to do is first, Find the pivot item in the array and then based on the item, do the comparison for the single round and start a pointer to the left side, which is called the left pointer at the first item in the array and start a pointer to the right side, naming it as the right pointer at the last item in the array. While the value of the left pointer to the left in the array is less than the point value, then move the left pointer one point to the right and continue until the value of the left pointer is greater than or equal to the point value I'm sorry pivot value while the value of the right pointer in the array is still greater than the pivot value move the right pointer to the left which means subtracted one continue until the value at the right pointer is less than or equal to the pivot value if and if the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer then swap the values at these locations in the array and then move the left pointer to the right by one and the right pointer to the left by one and finally if the left pointer and the right pointer don't meet at any point then repeat the point steps from one again the pictorial explanation is given now well, as I've stated, step one, step two, step three, step four, and so on. Naming the left pointer and the right pointer in the step two, and adding the left pointer one to the right, and subtracting the right pointer one to the left, and so on. Well, coming to the characteristics of Quicksort, Quicksort is very useful for sorting arrays. And among the many sorting techniques, it is one of the most efficient and its implementation quicksort is not just stable sort, meaning that the relative order of a quicksort items is not preserved. And the overall time complexity of the quicksort is O n log n, as I've already earlier mentioned. And in the worst case, it makes O n2 comparisons, though this behavior is very rare. The space complexity of quicksort is O n log n as mentioned earlier and it's in place sort which that it means it doesn't require any extra storage. Here's an example of quicksort. As there's no space I've cropped into two pictures and I've added side by side. Well you can find the example and what the following example has the following output. See, the elements I'm going to enter are five elements. And the five elements are 88, 0, minus 9, 98, and 27. 
and according to the code and the algorithm used the order is sorted into minus 9 0 27 88 and 98 and that's how quick sort works and it you know algorithm is totally in the code behind well the complexities of quick sort are very simple best case time complexity which is the omega n log n and average time complexity is phi n log n and the worst case time complexity is o n2 if the partitioning leads to nearly equal sub arrays then the running time is the best with the complexity as o n log n and the worst case happens for the arrays with cases where the elements are already sorted and the pivot is chosen as the last element here well the partitioning gives unbalanced sub arrays where all the elements are already smaller than the pivot and hence it's left side and no elements on the right side and well the space complexity which is considered as a recursion stack is o n log n well to conclude quicksort is a compassion based algorithm and it's not stable in comparing with other sorting systems a small optimization that can be done is to call a recursive quicksort function for the smaller sub array first and the larger ones later overall quicksort is a highly efficient sorting technique among the other sorting techniques that can give a better performance than a merge sort in any case of a smaller array and is an important concept to understand when it comes to algorithms thank you